so you brought up private money and of course you never go to the bank for financing no. uh, so let's suppose for example that the house that is falling down was actually in really good shape i mean good enough shape that it, it would take a little bit of paint here and a little bit of sprucing and cleaning there and it would be good and uh, and the, the amount the person wanted was in in the in the uh, in a reasonable level where are you going to get the money because you know you just looked at the house now you hopefully he can close in seven or seven or 14 days that's an awful short period of time to get the money the bank's not going to give it to you and of course you don't want to go to the bank how does that work yeah so in doing business with our private lenders and so my wife carol joy and i we've got uh, about 45 individuals i mean just to be clear with everybody what is private money well private money i call it relationship money you're actually borrowing money from an individual so we're not talking banks hard money lenders institutions of any kind we're doing business with individuals and so a private lender is an individual that loans money to the real estate investor either from their investment capital or from their retirement funds. Um, a big part of the success of private money is having a relationship with what's called a self-directed IRA company. Um, and I recommend Quest out of Houston, Texas. And so what people can do, what individuals can do is they can transfer or roll over penalty free, tax free, their existing retirement funds or a portion of them over to a self-directed IRA company like Quest, no tax effect, no penalties, and they can loan out money to us real estate investors and get their returns either tax deferred or tax free. So, in answer to your question, Scott, so I'm, you know, I'm making a cash offer. Where's the money coming from? Well, I've already got what we call money sitting on the shelf. And what money sitting on the shelf is it's private money from private lenders that I already have a relationship with either they're new and we have, they haven't done their first deal with me, or it's a current private lender uh, that's doing more business. They tell me just verbally how much funds, how much money they have available to loan out on deals. We keep that uh, on an Excel spreadsheet. And so a new private lender coming in is at the top of the list. And then other private lenders, as we're cashing out deals, they go in what we call the queue and they just move up the queue until we're going to use their money next. So again, in answer to your question, where's the money coming from? It's already been verbally pledged by our private lenders. And so now like, you know, right now I have over a million dollars sitting on the shelf, just waiting there to be used. I got three houses cashing out, um, this week and next week. And so there's going to be a, a bunch more private money coming available. So, you know, ever since I started using private money back in 2009, it's sort of been a balancing act of keeping the private lenders happy, keeping their funds invested on our deals and having private money available at the same time for any offers that, you know, we'll be making on, on the uh, properties.